Hi everyone. We're gonna do a 30 minute, and we're gonna hit a little bit of everything, lower body and upper body. So we are gonna start with a combination movement of a squat and overhead reach, okay? Um, so since we're going overhead, I don't want you to get too heavy of a dumbbell, um, but you just need one here, okay? All right, so we are going to do three sets of 10 on each side. Now remember when you do this, this squat, we want to get a hip hinge in there so you really drive that hip back. You know, we're not coming down like this. It's about the butt, okay? All right, so grab your dumbbell, feet are apart, toes are up in your shoe, shoulder back, and reach down, get that weight to touch the floor, come on up, overhead, good. Two. Here's four. Suck that belly in. Five more. Three. Two. And one. Good. Switch sides. Same thing. Have that weight touch the floor, up, reach up overhead. Two. Belly is tight. Toes are up in your shoes. Drive those hips back. Here's six. Need four more. One more. Good. Very nice. All right, so we're gonna alternate that with a back exercise where we're really gonna hit the lats. So we're gonna use our bench for that. Make sure you can see. You're gonna wanna grab a heavier weight. And seated. If you don't have a bench, you can do it on the floor. I want you to hold your dumbbell like this, right, towards the ceiling. We're going to start with it over the chest. Good, so I'm over the breast line, not over my face where I start, okay? And I'm going to slowly lower that back as far as I can and bring it right back to over the chest. Do 12. Here's one. Three more. Good, very nice. Okay, from there, we are going to do 20 pop squats, okay? Let's get that heart rate up a little bit. Move this bench back. Start with your feet together. We're gonna to jump out into a squat and back up, okay? We're gonna do 20. Ready and begin. Seven. Halfway. Three more. Let that heart rate come down a bit. Grab some water. Woo. <laughs> All right. 
great job. Nice deep breaths, and we're gonna do this again. I'm gonna do two more sets of this. All right, how you guys feeling? All right, so we are back to the squats with the overhead reach. I don't care which side you start with, we're gonna do 10 on each side. Feet are apart, toes are up, tap the floor up overhead. Take it to 10, here's five, halfway. Three more. Good. Switch sides. And ready. And tap the floor up overhead. Start over the breast line. Slight bend to those elbows. Lean back. Whoops. Hold that thought. Okay. Let's try again. All right. Over the chest. Extend back. Feel that stretch right back up. Taking it to 12. One more. Good. All right. 20 hop squats. Okay, make sure the weights aren't in your way. Okay. Ready and begin. Good. 
Remember, 10 on each side. It's about that hip hinge, driving that hip back. All right, ready? Tap the floor up. towards your ear. Five, halfway. Good, very nice. Together, belly is tight. Drive those hips back. Seven, going to 20. Keep going, come on, stay with me. Halfway. bicep curls. So we are alter we will alternate the two. Sorry, I'm a lot of breath. Grab some water. Like incorporating those pops, bursts of energy. Great way to burn some calories, get some hit in there. So very nice. All right, how's everyone doing? Okay, so for the single leg movement, we are going to do a stationary lunge. Now we've done it before where we bring a knee up. We're not doing that. I want you to grab two weights. Good. All right, you're gonna start with your feet together. We're gonna do 12 on each leg, and then we're gonna stand up, or. Excuse me, then we're gonna go into bicep curls, okay? So we're gonna drive that leg back, doesn't matter which one. Now it's pretty wide stride, make sure I get in the camera. And my back foot is up on the ball of my feet. Find a stationary focal point and think of your torso and knee dropping straight down. So here we go, down and up, two, good. Six, 
seven, five more. Good, get it together. Very nice, we're gonna drive that other foot way back. Back foot is up on the ball of your foot, not flat. Drop that knee and up. Stationary focal point. Four. Four more. Last one, good. Set those weights down. Heart rate should be up, you should be breathing heavy. Good. Now from there, we're gonna go into a bicep curl. We're gonna do a single arm bicep curl, okay? Alternating and twisting your wrists as you go. So twist up, we're gonna do 10 on each side. So grab those weights, feet are together, knees are loose, protecting your lower back. And remember, we wanna keep that elbow tucked in at the side, okay? Two. Notice that I'm controlling on the way down. I'm not letting gravity pull me, control it. Five, halfway, we're going to 10. Good, give me two more each side. Good, very nice. All right. Breather, and we're gonna do that again. We've got two more sets of this. And then if we have time, we'll finish up with an abdominal exercise. So stay with me, just a quick half hour, we're, we're almost at 20 minutes, we're almost done. Get that blood pumping. All right, now if the set before was not enough with the weights, get higher weights, if it was too much, I'm okay with just doing a body weight movement, that's okay. If you're gonna do body weights, I'll demonstrate. Um, for the second set, I want your hands on your hips. Everything else remains the same. You guys ready? All right, let's do this. So, make sure I'm in the camera here. One foot goes back, way back. Now, my back foot isn't down, it's up on the ball of my feet, right? Hands are on my hips or right in front, stationary focal point, drop that knee and up. Knee does not need to touch the ground. Six, halfway. Two more. Good, feet together. Other foot, drive it back, nice and far. Up on the ball of your feet, drop straight down and up. Five. Nine. Two more. Good. All right, we're gonna go into bicep curls. Single arm. 10 on each side. All right, grab those weights. and curl, control, two. Try and keep torso stable. Here's four. Looking good. Five. 
four more each side. Okay, think one more. Boy, what's my mind today? All right, good. Set those weights down. Water if you need it. We're gonna do this one more time and then we'll get abs. All right, so again, I don't care if you're doing body weight exercise with the stationary lunges or with added weight, but I really want your form to be straight on, um, spot on. And I want you to be challenged whichever way you're doing. Okay, all right, last set. Drive foot back, right? Again, drop straight down, stationary focal point. Down, good. Two. Seven. Two more. Good. Feet together. Opposite leg. Way back. Stationary focal point. Back foot is up on the ball of your feet. Drop down. And up. Keep your belly tight. those dumbbells. Knees are loose. Curl up and up. Two. Four. Six. One more. Ten and ten. Good. All right, now for the abdominal exercise, um, I don't have a very forgiving floor here, so I'm going to use a BOSU for this. You do not need to use a BOSU. You have a mat, and that would be great. If you're on carpet, that's fine too. And for this, you can use a ball if you have it. You can use a dumbbell, either one, doesn't matter. So I'll demonstrate with both. So seated, this is called a Russian twist. Seated on your mat, goes to whatever. Feet are apart, and I want you to kind of dig your heels in so you've got a good base of support. If you're using a weight, that's fine. I want you to hold it like so. You're gonna lean back just a little bit to engage that core, right, nice and tight. Then you're gonna bring that weight or ball to one side, and your eyes are gonna follow the weight, up and over. Good, all right? So, let's go. We're gonna do a total of 20. Weight or ball, I don't care. I'm gonna use a ball. So, we're nice upright, lean back, belly tight. Feet are wide, digging your heels in. Tap, tap, tap the floor, or the BOSU, or the mat. Eyes follow the ball, or the weight. 
6, going to 20. Halfway. Suck that belly in. Here's 15. And 20, good. All right, great core exercise. Okay, from there, we're gonna do something called dead bug. Again, you don't need to have a bow suit for it. You can do it on the floor, on the mat. Um, it's a little more challenging if you have a bow suit. Get the weights out of the way. Okay, so we're gonna lean back and take a second to find your balance, okay? I want you to notice that my shoulders are up. I'm not dropping them, okay? So here, we're gonna bring one foot up at a time, and then the other, and hands to ceiling. And we're gonna hold this. Great core exercise. Keep going. Don't let those shoulders drop. Think of your belly as an accordion, squeezing it together. Visualize that. Doing great. Keep going. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Keep going. About 15 more seconds. Those abs should be talking to you. Almost there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Come on, just a little bit longer. And done, good. Woo, nice. Catch your breath. Third and final movement we're gonna do is Superman. And again, you can do this on the floor, it's fine. Those who challenges you a little bit more, but you don't need to, okay? Catch your breath. We're gonna flip over, find our balance, and then we're gonna, you know, think of how does Superman fly through the air? That's the position you're gonna wanna take, okay? So, so for me on Bosu, I'm gonna get my hips, hips up, Driven into that bow suit, gonna bring my feet up and arms up and hold. Squeeze those glutes. Don't touch the ground with your hands or your feet. Doing great, keep going. seconds. Almost there, guys. Keep going. Hold it. Hold it. Ten more seconds. Good. Very nice. All right, so we got a good workout in there. A quick 30 minute one. Um, good job. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we will see you on Thursday. All right, thanks, guys. Take care.